Hey guys, welcome back to the Knitting Expat Podcast channel. My name is Mina and I'm here today to do a knit crate review. I've actually got to do two months worth of reviews in one video because August was a bit of a mental month and I didn't have time to sit down and do this even though I wanted to. But I have my knit crate boxes. I actually have stack of knit crate boxes to go through and show you guys so I hope if you enjoy this kind of video I hope you all enjoy this um, and yeah I'm going to start with the August knit crate box and go through that considering I missed it last month and I will go over it now really quickly so I really apologize for missing it last month but um, like I said life got in the way uh, so last month's theme was um, indigo glow so what, what they say on their information is dive into a palette of cool hues and explore the deep saturated tones of this month's theme. Inspired by the rich colours of one of history's most sought after natural pigments, we asked our dyers and designers to draw inspiration from saturated shibori textiles, rippling ocean waves and water worn stones and seashells. Okay, so and the information here is the yarn, about the yarn, but what's really interesting this time around, and I think they've started doing this now as standard, I'm not entirely sure, it seems so, and if they have, I really like it, and I hope they keep doing this, is they've actually provided you with a booklet, rather than just a card with the information on the back, but they've provided you with a booklet, and the booklet includes um, the patterns, the actual written patterns in them, rather than just, previously you just get a download code, which you'd have to go online and download the pattern, it's also meant in the past when I've been doing the giveaways with the yarn that Knit Crate sent me, either through the Knit Crate videos or on the podcast as knit along prizes, I've never been able to give away the patterns because the um, because they're like download codes and they're specifically for my account. So I've never been able to give those away. But now I can actually give you guys the patterns as well, along with the um, along with the yarn to go with it. So the yarn this month is this beautiful loveliness. I can get that to focus. There we go. This is Uru Yarn Speckled Singles, 100% superwash merino wool, um, fingering weight, 417 yards, 380 meters per 100 grams. And the colorway that I got is Silence. The other colourways they had was undertow, highlight, or shibori. Let's focus. There we go. And um, yeah, so there's two skeins of that. It's really soft, squishy, bouncy, single ply merino. Um, lovely, heavily speckled. And the patterns included are it's a crochet and a knit pattern. So the knit pattern is called Gully Washer, and the crochet pattern is called Caribbean Escape. So the knit pattern is on top. And then the crochet pattern is this one. So really beautiful designs. Um, I will be keeping this yarn to give away on a future knit along or something uh, prize for the podcast. So the box that I get, the boxes I get is the Knit Crate membership, which is a $63 value um, included, which um, includes the price of the yarn, the value of the patterns, and the value of the shipping, which you always get free with Knit Crate. The shipping's always free, as in they don't charge you for shipping. And then the other box they always send me is the Sock Artisan Crate. Yes, they send me the Sock Artisan Crate, and again, the theme is the same. The information on the front is the same. And the yarn they sent me this time is by uh, Dagmar... Ear, ear, e i r. I'm not entirely sure how that is pronounced out loud. Um, okay, that's the logo, and the colorway is called Lifeboat, and this is in the 75% uh, superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, 463 yards in 100 grams. Sorry, the base I believe is the Lifeboat. The destination is pearl. So the destination is the, the colorway, sorry. So colorway is pearl and the base is called lifeboat. There we go. Really lovely, a, a really lovely sort of neutral with different tones of like a bluey gray in it. Absolutely stunning. Like I said, a lovely neutral if you're into that. And the pattern included, again, it's included in the booklet, which is great. 
its beautiful cable pattern and it's called the Cascade Socks. So if I can get that in focus for you. See that beautiful cable running down the side there. And the little extra in this month's box is um, some stitch markers by Koshka's Bazaar, knitting tools for cat lovers, which is adorable. If I can get that to focus on there, you'll see this super itty bitty little tiny cat shaped stitch markers. How cute are those? Perfect for socks or other small projects that you're potentially working on. So I just realized I had my camera on the wrong setting, which is why the focusing was being a bit funny. So I fixed that now. So like I said, this is the um, cat stitch markers. Really adorable. And um, so yeah, so I'll be keeping these again for another giveaway at some point um, with the yarn and the stitch markers and the pattern all together. I'm really liking that Knit Crate have started doing their um, patterns in booklet form that they send out with the boxes because I mean, because I pretty much 95% of the time use these yarns for future prizes and stuff on the podcast, it'd be nice to be able to send the pattern with the yarn that it was designed for. Um, so there we go. So that was August's crate, very sort of neutral crate that year, that month, that year, that month. So moving on to September's um, crates, which actually only arrived uh, earlier this week or over the weekend while we were away. And um, oh sorry, so the sock crate, like I said, was the sock artisan crate. That one is actually 27, I don't know if I told you. So the knit crate membership is 24.99 a month and you get two skeins. It's a monthly, I'm reading this off their website because the stuff has changed over the last few months and I want to give you guys the latest information. So the Knit Crate membership is a $63 value which you get for $24.99 and you get a monthly subscription featuring in-house premium yarn brands and two exclusive patterns, one knitting, one crochet. Ships worldwide, shipping and handling is already included in the price and you get an extra, you, so you also enjoy 25% off all products in the uh, member central shop so they're the knit crate shop you get 25% off there as well if you wanted to buy more yarn or other things through them they also have an artisan crate which is similar to the knit crate membership one it's basically instead of getting in-house yarn you get two skeins of um, uh, an indie hand dyed yarn in a limited edition colorway again two uh, you get two knitting patterns, you get one beginner, one intermediate advanced, and you get a fun extra. So kind of like with the sock one where you've got the little stitch markers, you get something similar, you get a small little something extra. And again, shipping's included as well as, and then 25% off in the central, in the member shop. The sock artisan crate, which is what I just showed you, is um, same sort of thing, monthly. So, sorry, I'm getting muddled up now. So the Knit Crate membership is $24.99, the Artisan Crate is $39.99, the Sock Artisan Crate, which again is a skein of indie hand dyed sock yarn, um, one exclusive sock pattern and a fun extra, that is $27.99, again shipping included and 25% off in the member shop. Then the Sock Crate membership is a hand dyed premium fingering weight yarn from one of their in-house sock brands, sock lines. Um, and you'll also you'll get one skein of hand dyed yarn plus a exclusive pattern and then you also enjoy bonus promo codes from brand partners that they have as well as 25% off the um, member shop as well uh, shipping and everything obviously also included and that one is 19.95 a month so there's a range of different options at different price points to suit different budgets and I believe um, yeah you definitely get value for money with these boxes these crates if you're in if you're into surprises and if you're into um you know if you're not too fussy about colors and stuff like that and you're just interested in trying out something different being exposed to new yarns new patterns anything like that i think this sort of thing is quite fun again like i said you have to be open to the fact that you might not like everything that you get sent and if that's something that's um doesn't suit you then maybe a mystery surprise subscription is not your thing um but yeah, and you can always swap with, they have like rivalry groups where you can swap or trade with others if there's something you don't like. Anyway, so moving on to September's boxes. Before I dive in and show you this, I'm going to try, I recorded um, 
when I first got this, I actually recorded the initial unboxing and opening of it by my daughter Layla. <laughs> she really loves doing these knit crate reviews with me usually. I, I try and wait to film them when she's around, but I haven't been able to do that this week. So I recorded when I first opened them up, I had her open them and I got her reaction on camera. So I'm going to try and insert that here. Is that your favourite colour? They send you the bright red one. Are those yours? Can you want the tissue paper? Thank you. Can I have a look at the yarn, honey? Can mommy have a look? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, honey. So we got Vidalana and the Pimento colorway. Eh? Oh, wow. It's a silk cashmere blend. Sport weight. Yeah, oh, you want to do the other one? Yeah, this one. Okay, let's not show our address. <laughs> do you want to open this one? This is a sock membership. Do you want to open it? Come on. Um, Come on, there you go. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. What's that colour? What's this? What's this little extra thing? Oh, it's highlighters. That's fun. And you can see the yarn. Who's the yarn by? It's Critical Sheep. Away. Ambush. Perfect. Lovely green colour. Oh, thank you. Putting this one back? We're putting this one back, are we? Oh, well done. And this one was your thing. Are we putting that back too? Oh, well done. Are we packing it away so it doesn't get messy? Oh, well done. Now that you've seen her reaction, I will go ahead and show you guys what came in the boxes. So, this is the uh, Knit Crate membership, and this came with the bright red pimento colorway. There were three other colorway options, potentially, for this uh, box. There was a green, a sort of indigo, dark blue, and a purpley skein. And we got sent the, I say we because, let's be honest, this is totally Layla's color, the pimento. It's on the dream base, which is 329 yards or 300 meters per 100 grams, 70% superwash merino wool, 20% silk, and 10% cashmere. It's a sport weight. It's the Vida Lana base or yarn. Um, so, this is again one of the Knit Crate yarns. How beautiful is that? It is so soft, it is so squishy. It is this bright, fiery orange red it is that bright how bright you see it on screen that is how it is it is ridiculously bright but if you've seen <laughs> as you saw in the footage Layla actually loves this color um she fell in love with the yarn it seems and um afterwards was just enjoying playing with it so I think I might have to keep this and make something for her out of it just because she adores it so much um I don't know maybe I'll change my mind and use it for a giveaway but my initial feelings on this is I might keep this to make something for her um because two skeins is a decent amount of yardage to do like a pullover or a cardigan or something for her so we'll see what this ends up becoming if i decide to keep it and the other things that came in the box are the two pattern booklets i actually got two pattern booklets one for the crochet and one for the knitting so the knitting pattern is called uh west wind there you go and the crochet pattern is called uh, Las uh, Mananitas de, de Blanca. I'm going to say that's like a Spanish name that I cannot pronounce. So apologies for butchering that. But it's a really beautiful design. See there? 
So a little bit about the yarn. Um, like I've told you, so the colorways, potential colorways was lavender, night, pimento, or tapenade. So I believe this would have been the lavender color. And this is the tapenade olive color. And the only other colorway that I don't have a picture of to show you is night, which like I said, was like a dark blue based on the photo on the website. That's that one. And another, this is the September sock artisan crate. So the yarn in this one is by Critical Sheep. And this information for this one is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams, 450 yards. That's actually quite good yardage, 450 yards. Um, in the ambush colorway, which is a really lovely tonal sort of dark, sort of like a muddy green, which I think would be really beautiful for socks. Especially like socks for men, if you're looking for like a Mets or more manly, masculine colorway, I think that would be quite nice. This skein actually comes with a little um, extra coupon code, like twenty percent off, with the code that's on here, and it's valid until the end of this year. So I'm going to probably use this for a giveaway prize really soon, so you can take advantage of that code. This, um, the little something extra in this case was this little wheel highlighter wheel, which I thought was really quite cute. So each one of these caps has a little marker underneath, highlighter marker underneath it. You just pop the cap off, and you get that color highlighter all around the wheels looks like a little flower Layla was a little bit obsessed with this um i didn't take it out of the packaging because i didn't want her to get highlighter everywhere but um but yeah i've test i've only taken it out of the package to test it to make sure it works and it does and it's really quite cute so this will go with the yarn as the prize as a package the prize prize package and <coughs> um so this month's theme focuses on a modern palette with a graphic twist. Dusty tones play off wearable designs in beautifully dyed yarns. This Morse code missive, dash dot dash, or should I get sorry, which was the theme for September, um, is our sign off on what is sure to be a singular set of September crates. Yeah. So the pattern for this month is the Falling Petals pattern. And if I can get a close up there, I can show you. Here we go. It's not necessarily the best image to show you, but that's what's included. And the other option for colorway was a color called Veil. So it was either Ambush or Veil for this box. And I got Ambush, which I actually think I prefer. I think Veil was a more brown color. Definitely like this color a lot. And if I didn't already have so much yarn, I would have been tempted to keep it. But I will give it away and let one of you lovely people enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that is this month's crate. There are links down below. There's a link to the Knit Crate website which just explains all the different types of boxes you can get, like I read for you earlier off their website. And then there's also another link which is an affiliate link, which all that means is if you use that link to then go ahead and sign up for one of these memberships, um, I get a small percentage of the membership, I guess. It's not, um, it's not a huge amount. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, extra like it doesn't cost you more than whatever you would have paid otherwise and um, it helps me out a little bit and then there's also a little coupon code called expat 20 I think it is which gets you 20% off your first order with Knit Crate which is always a little bonus so um, so yeah I hope you like this video and I will be back soon hopefully with a podcast all right take care and bye